Putting a border around an object in Affinity Photo is so easy, but it's a little more obscure than you might think. So let's have a look. We'll open a new document. Doesn't really matter what sort of document it is. A photo size, 6x4.5 and just the basic things. We just need a basic, um, just a basic panel to work with. So I'll bring that in a little bit so you can see it on the screen. What we have there, of course, is no layer yet, so we'll add a layer. We'll add a pixel layer. Now we've got a pixel layer we can work on. And on that layer, I want to put a shape. So we'll make a rectangle to start with. Just drag the rectangle out. There's a nice little rectangle. And you think, how do I put a border around that? Really, I need to put a border around it. So it's a white background at the moment but let's go and go to FX you can see I've just tapped it there FX and we don't want outer shadow inner shadow what we want is an outline and you think well, okay how do I get it to do an outline <coughs> the trick here is you've actually got to touch the word outline with your Apple pencil See that, that outline there? And it just leaves the blank there, but look down the bottom here. And you can see, because I'm moving that along, this little thing here, down there. Let's, let's make it a 20 pixel, board, 20 pixel wide border. The alignment is on the outside. It's a solid color and it's black. Oh, black is a bit boring. So let's make it blue by just touching the color wheel. Or maybe you think, oh, oh no, I want green. Oh, it fades a bit. I want a, I want a shade of that. So you move into the triangle. You can see that's the shading changes as you move up and down. So it's not quite black and it's not quite green. We can do the same with that. See, it's not quite purple. But there we go, that's nicer. And that's how you put a border around an image. Take the colour away. Go back up here. And let's see, we've moved away from that one. What you don't want to do is accidentally start something else while you've still got that selected. You can see that there, that's that layer. Let's see what happens when we start the rectangle tool. You can see it starts the same one. So that's no good, is it? Let's backtrack out of that and undo the effect. There's our rectangle. Go back to FX, outline, and put a a size 20 board around it. We'll just leave that one black. Now that's on that layer. So what we need, you're still following me? What we need is another layer and that's the layer we want the next one on. So let's go down here to the rounded rectangle one and you can see it's not selected there anymore. We'll do a rounded rectangle. We'll go to FX again, we'll do the outline again. And you think, oh no, how do I skill it up? I need that to be touch the word outline and there's your control bar down the bottom. Let's just make that one 15. A little smaller and we'll make that one a nice red color. There we go. Easy as that. And you want to put another one in? There's our pixel layer there. You see what it's doing? It's very tricky. Let's remove that. There's that. Because what we need to do is go up there. We don't want to select that. Can we deselect it? No, we can't deselect it. But what we can do is go down here. Let's see what happens when we do a triangle. 
there's our triangle, there's FX, an outline, touch the outline, and let's make that one blue. There we go, it's as easy as that. There's our layers, triangle, rounded rectangle, rectangle. You can see that pixel layer there. That was the first pixel layer I put down. Redundant, because it generates its own pixel layer. Now that's got the bottom layer selected, which is the rectangle. And it's just the layer. Let's see if we can put another object on that. There's a star over there and we've added a star so don't be confused by the fact that you're on the same layer and it will show up that square again what we need to do now is go to fx put an outline on it touch the word outline to get that up there and put a border of 10 on it Now we want to select that star because we want to move it over there and place it Place it in there. That's about in the center. Go back there. You've got a star inside a square and you can see it because it's got a border. Putting borders around objects is as easy as that. Now, what we want to do, because you really want to be able to do this, there's our rounded rectangle, the one with the red border there. Let's try something interesting, shall we? We'll place from photos. Where's a nice photo? That one will do. There's a nice photo of my dog. Let's put a picture of Clooney in there, shall we? And there's Clooney, and you think, oh, how do I get him into the rectangle? You get hold of it and drop it so it's in the middle of the next of the red, red rectangle layer. You see that? There he is in there. I could have used a better photo, couldn't I? Well, come on. But there we go. That's not bad. Put that there. And there's my favourite dog, who sadly has passed away and is now in a red rectangle. So you can take your photographs, put them into a border. You could select the white background and all the background, fade it away, um, do what you like with it, and... Um, You've got a nice little image. And that's all there is to it. Putting borders around objects.